I am so glad I could get in this Primark January 2021 haul, even though we are in lockdown number three. Is that not dedication? You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am so buzzing to be able to bring you this video this month, despite the fact that here in the UK we are in a national lockdown. Yes, I make magic happen. Now, if you are new around here, then hello, my name is Amy. I, I do monthly Primark Come Shop With Me's and monthly Primark videos. Obviously, if you're not new around here and you have been subscribed for a while, you know I endeavor to bring you these every single month. And even last year, despite the craziness, I think I managed to do that. 2021 goal is to still keep you Primark addicts like me satisfied with our fix. And I was very, very lucky to be able to head into Primark on the evening of the 4th of January. I did also manage to do a Primark Come Shop With Me for January. That will be up already, so you would have already seen that video. I will link it in a little eye here, and I will also leave it linked down below so you can go check it out. But of course, before we go any further, if you are a huge Primark, fan and you love Primark content, there's a come shop with me and a haul that happens every single month so make sure you do hit that subscribe button and join this little Primark addicts family. But as I said I went on the evening of the whatever it was, the Friday, the 4th, four, the fourth? no it wasn't a Friday, I don't even remember, it was, it was a day, I think it was a Monday, that's right, Monday the 4th? Monday the 4th. And I did manage to pick up a good bag full of stuff. I genuinely went with the intention of just doing a come shop with me because I thought, you know what, it's just been Christmas. There is nothing I could possibly need at all. But I should know that that never ever happens once you step one foot through that door in Primark. Another great thing is the Primark January sales were on so that I did actually manage to grab quite a few bargains and of course as well I didn't buy everything but I did manage to show you tons of it on that video of the come shop with me so make sure you do check that out after but for now you've clicked on this to see what I got in Primark and I'm pretty proud with some of the little bargains I picked up. Make sure you are comfy, cozy, light your candle, get a drink if you need to and make sure you put on your slippers of choice. Today I have gone with Lee Ugg and let's crack on with the first item. So the first item that I picked up, I just couldn't not pick this up. It was a huge bargain. It's a basic that everyone should have. It looked very Zara-esque to me. I'm sure I have seen this exact same thing in Zara. It is extremely basic, but it looks really good quality with the zip. The zip's just like a really nice shine. And it is just this plain croc patent clutch, I was about to say coach bag, clutch bag. And it's got a little wrist, was a wristlet clutch bag. This was reduced from four pounds down to two. I just thought it was one of those things that you can just have in your collection and when you really don't know what you want to wear or grab you can just take this let alone you could use it as a makeup bag if you did want to but I just thought for any outfit it's nice and easy and you know for nights out not happening anytime soon this could be a really good um, little one to have in the collection so two quid that one was a barg next up I think this might be my favorite thing that I bought this trip possibly, not sure. I absolutely love oversized hoodies. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I believe, or two videos ago, actually it was two videos ago, there was a Zara haul that I did where I picked up two amazing basic hoodies that you like literally need in your life, as well as this top and this necklace. So again, I will link that Zara video down below if you do wanna check it out. But I would really compare the quality of this next item to the hoodies I picked up in Zara. This is a oversized sort of taupe color, nudie taupe. I was just drawn by the color. And it does say on it, do it for yourself. I mean, I kind of would prefer if that wasn't there, but it is and it's absolutely fine and it's a positive affirmation. So we're gonna always have plenty of those this year. I picked this up in a size extra large um, just cause I, again, really like the oversized hoodie look. I prefer them to be oversized than fitted. Um, it has got the brushed cotton on the inside, which my Zara ones did also have. So the quality is incredible, and this was seven pounds. They did this in lots of different colorways and different schemes. I did show you all of that in the Come Shop With Me video. Next item is one that I will be keeping in the wardrobe until summer 2021, when hopefully we do have a bit of a social life and we can be flaunting all of our lovely outfits. But I managed to finally pick up my favorite shoes these are the best shoes that Primark sold in 2020. These beautiful little square-toed chunk heel 
um, slip-on sandals, I guess they are. If you have been round since the, I think it was like June, July Primark hauls, I picked up this pair of, exact same pair of style, but in a lovely like sea foam green colour, and I literally wore them so much. They are the most comfortable shoes I have ever bought from Primark, because that's the only thing, when you buy cheap shoes, as we all know, they usually just rub and they last all of like a year or two and then they got to go in the bin but genuinely these ones I the other ones I have worn so much so I bought them in the green they also bought them in nude they do them in black and then they did them in this beautiful gold and I nearly bought them full price before I went on holiday in October but I just really love this and these were reduced from £10 their full price to five absolute bargain I love these so much I just won't be able to wear them for a bloody long time next of course lockdown number three and we don't know when we can go back to Primark so we stock up on the extra large face pads for the grand total of 90p. Another Zara dupe that I noticed on this trip so this is just a basic but it is a tea bodysuit that was I got it in a size M and it was five pounds um, this is oh it is made using the organic cotton I was gonna say this one doesn't look like it is but it is the quality feels really good it does have a nice little stretch to it but not too much it's also not slinky I always find that in this style of bodysuits they always come with that slinky shiny material that sort of border lines looking like a swimsuit and I don't like that so I just thought this obviously for absolutely any season with a nice pair of jeans and then to show off a nice belt is perfect. A basic you kind of should always have in your wardrobe and I always find in January because it was the same last year Primark kind of bring out their really good basics in January so yeah picked up this one right here. I didn't actually see it in any other colours just so you know it was only black from my store. Next I picked up a, another pair of the Primark Victoria Secret dupe leggings. If you don't know about these you need to know. My last two videos I bought these leggings and I have not got out of them. They are <laughs> A little bit more expensive for Primark leggings because they are four pounds as opposed to their like two pound fifty ones I think but trust me they are so so worth it so I get mine in a size small and the reason I like them is because I'm sure you can see I can't see on the monitor but it's got the band rather than just like an elastic string around it um, it's way more flattering and way more comfortable they are cotton blend I think they are um, and they just genuinely are a really comfy and flattering pair of leggings. So this with, you know, your hoodie, easy outfit, done. Lockdown number three, 2021, outfit sorted. I have been having my January 2021 clear out and I went through, TMI, I went through all my knickers and I was like, do you know what? I need to just get rid and purge. And I did get rid of a ton of knickers, but I noticed that the one pairs I kept wearing, I checked the label and they were Primark, and they are these set here. So if you are a gal who doesn't quite like the full lace life, because I certainly don't like the full lace life in the underwear, just don't feel the comfort of it, but you know, I want to feel sexy, so there with my full my full brief or whatever they're called, just ain't making me feel that special. Totally go to Primark and get yourself a set of their Brazilians. They are really good because they have the material and the comfy material in all the right places of them, but then you still get that lovely lining of the lace and it's just genuinely really comfortable. I picked these up in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. I always like to upsize if I can in underwear because Again, comfort factor is key. They didn't do these in any other um, designs, but I actually quite liked the cheetah print. I would have preferred if they were all black, but you get a set of three and they are five pounds. So I think you can get a pair of like one underwear in Primark for one pound 50. So, you know, it's, it's about the same, if not a little bit cheaper. But like I said, I purged through my wardrobe of my underwear and I literally have had these style that I must have bought like three, four years ago that are still going strong. So definitely worth the money. Next I picked up another Zara jewellery dupe again. I cannot tell you how passionate I am about how well Primark are doing with their Zara jewellery dupes at the moment. Again, I'm like, I sound like a broken record when I do these videos, but I just feel like when you're, when you've watched all of them, we're just, we're all in the same community. We know what's going on and what's new in Primark, what you need to get, etc. But I did pick up a large pack like this in one of my previous haul videos and it was like a pack of four. I threw them in the bin guys. Do not buy them. I also put it in my last come shot with me and I showed them again and I said do not buy them. I, the backs didn't slip in properly. They were so cheap that you couldn't clasp it. Um, 
which was a shame because I loved the design of them. So I picked these up instead. So these were a little bit more expensive because they're £1.50 for one pair as opposed to I think it was like £2.50 for four pairs. But they are um, the little cl clasp backs. So pick those up and I just love with jewellery like this that you can just pop on and then pop on these earrings. They just look like a set all the time and love them. You can definitely find these in Zara for I imagine around six, seven pounds. Finally, I actually managed to pick myself up a roller, a stone roller. This is a obsidian facial stone roller made with FCF certified wood. Oh, is it wood? I thought it was stone. If anybody has any idea about this sort of, what these are meant to do, and if the, the gem affects what happens with your skin, I'm really genuinely interested. If you could leave me a comment down below, that would be awesome. Um, but basically, my mum had picked me this up for Christmas. She said it was on her receipt, she bought it. It was supposed to go in my little Primark wellness hamper that she did. Again, if you want to see my what I got for Christmas, there were some insane bits and bobs eye in the screen now. <laughs> but she said she picked this up and she just couldn't find it for the life of her so I just thought said you know what, I need one I'm gonna go back and get it. It's five pounds you can find this in the wellness section um, and I just think it's gonna be really nice just to roll skincare on. This has just been a huge trend last year and I never bought into it but now I eventually have. We are at the final item so I ended up picking up this lovely little taupey nude backpack. When I went to the world's largest Primark, which was in Birmingham, I think that was back in, a not April, sorry, August, um, I nearly, I put this in my cart and I nearly bought it. Full price, it is eight pounds, and they finally did reduce it this January and it was down to four pounds, so I couldn't not pick it up. To be honest, I've been thinking about it quite a lot. I just love how simple and basic it is for when me and Andy go on our lovely, like, country walks. It's just nice to have a backpack so you haven't got a, have the handbag with you, but also just the hardware, if you can see. It's just that really nice shiny hardware. It doesn't look cheap. Um, and of course I wear a lot of neutral colors. So having the neutral tones all together always looks lovely. So guys, that was everything I picked up in Primark for January, 2021. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you if you did watch the Come Shop With Me in Primark. I am so glad, like I said, that I got to go. I hope you all can go soon. If not, make sure you write down any of the stuff that you do want to get because I'm sure they'll still be there when we open again. I really hope to bring you this video again in February but of course if you're not in the UK or you're not in England we don't know how long our lockdown is going to be so hoping that we can get case rates down and shops can open back up again I will for sure be bringing you February and if you do want to see more on date content then make sure you do go follow me over on Instagram. I am a absolute bargain shopper. I go in B&M Home Bargains TK Maxx, all those sort of places, and I will post pictures and stories of when there's like blip products and when there's things you need to go in and you need to buy, because obviously those are like sort of fast paced shops. So yeah, it's just generally a lot of fun bargain, good quality haul content round here. So I'd really like if you could stick around. I will leave you to it. Thank you again for watching this video. And remember to stay safe and stay beautiful. And I will see you all in my next video next Wednesday. Ciao. Please and make a